Hi everyone, my name is John Khmer, and welcome back to Titan News. I hope everyone has stayed very dry over this recent rainy week. First up in the interviews, we have Caitlin talking about girls soccer. Let's go off to you, Caitlin. Welcome back to Titan News. My name is Caitlin, and I'm here with... Sasha Redshaw. So, Sasha, as your guys' soccer season comes to a close, what, how do you think the team did overall? Um, overall, I think we did pretty well. Everyone was working together, and um, just as a whole, we were all communicating and having fun, so... It's good on and off the field. Did you guys have a favorite moment or like a favorite game? Um, I think back to maybe when we played South Pass at um, South Pass, and it was really good to like beat them 3-0 at their home and really capitalize on like San Marino's season overall. It really just like got us pretty hyped, so that was really cool. Well, congratulations. And as that you're a senior, do you plan to continue soccer? Yeah, I do. I'm going to probably play the next four years at a university or something, and I'm really excited for that. So I have a couple of schools in mind, but to m- yeah. <laughs> okay, well, is there anything else you'd like to add for our viewer? Um, we have our first CIF game this Thursday, um, so wish us luck with that. Well, good luck to you guys, and thank you for watching Titan News. This is Caitlin Aguilar. Back to you. Thanks for that, Caitlin. Up next, we have Elizabeth talking about Love Notes, a fun February event. Let's go off to you, Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth Espinosa. Today, I'm here with Emmy Heller. Emmy, this week, we have an upcoming choir performance. Can you give me the details to it? Yeah, um, this is our annual Valentine's concert called Love Notes, and Chamber and Concert perform together, and it's in the foyer. Is admission free, or do you have to buy tickets? Admission is free, and there's also free foods, so like a lot of free dessert. What's choir been preparing for this performance? Um, We've been group rehearsal during our respective class periods, and we've also been having sectional work. So section leaders like Lindsay and I will be hosting um, like rehearsal within our own voice part so that we can fine tune our own notes and singing within each other. And what are sectionals? Sectionals are just rehearsals for like each specific voice part to sing together. So like sopranos will sing with sopranos and altos will sing with altos, just kind of like that. Will there any be solo performances or duets? Yeah, Love Notes is mostly um, a solo and duet-based performance, so you'll expect to see a lot of that. What's the name of your favorite piece that will be performed that night? It would definitely be All I Ask of You from Phantom of the Opera and Chamber and Concert sing it together, and I think it sounds really lovely. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. Thanks for that, Elizabeth. Make sure all you guys watching to get your friend a Love Note. Up next, we have Gina talking about Model UN, one of the clubs here at San Marino. Let's go to Gina. Hi, I'm Gina Kong, and I'm here with Claire Lee, a member of the Model United Nations team. So Claire, so I heard that you guys went on a conference last Saturday on February 3rd. So um, is there anything that stood out to you during the conference? Um, during the conference, this was definitely like really special in particular. So we weren't allowed to use our computers or any electronics, and it was a relatively large tournament, so it definitely made it really difficult. Wow, without electronics, I I think it's pretty hard. Um, And my second question is, is there anyone that wins awards? Do you mind listing a few people? Um, Since this was a really difficult tournament, we only had two people won awards. Um, We had Nathaniel, who's a sophomore, and Ian, who's a freshman, and they did dual delegate. Wow, that's really awesome. And my third question is, um, is there anything that you would like to improve during your next conference? Um, I would definitely want to improve my leadership skill and my public speaking skills since those are really important if you really want to win these Model UN tournaments. These are really good points. And my last question is, is there anything that um, you really enjoy during this conference? Um, During this conference, I was able to meet a lot of delegates and it really humbled me because a lot of them are really hardworking and they were also really friendly. Thank you, Claire. Thanks for that, Gina. For the final segment we have this week's Titan News, we have Owen talking about the Grammys, which happened this past weekend. Let's go to Owen. Well, folks, it's happened again. Not once, not twice, not three times, but for the fourth time, the people at the Grammys said, nah, just give Taylor album of the year. Somehow, the Grammys managed to surprise me with how bad it was this year, and this is coming right off of everything that happened with the Golden Globes. So, let's not waste any time and get right into what happened. When it comes to the basic stuff, Dua Lipa kicked off the show with a performance, followed by Trevor Noah's opening monologue, which was one of the few things I liked about the show. The Dr. Dre Global Impact Award returned, this time being awarded to Jay-Z, who pointed out a weird inconsistency with the Grammys. You know. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won Album of the Year. 
So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Taylor Swift announced her new album while accepting the award for Pop Vocal Album. Miley Cyrus won her first ever Grammy for Best Pop Solo Performance, and SZA won the Grammy for Best R&B Song. After a performance of her song, Kill Bill. Victoria Monet took home the Grammy for Best New Artist, and Miley Cyrus took home her second Grammy ever. And then Taylor Swift won Album of the Year. Now look, I'm not saying Taylor Swift's music is bad. In fact, I actually like some of her music. I just prefer hearing it over the loudspeakers in grocery stores. Taylor Swift now has the most amount of Album of the Year awards out of any other artist. But the fact that she has won four times when only three black women have ever gotten Album of the Year just doesn't add up. Even some Swifties think that her newest album was around a 7 or 8 out of 10. And if you ask me, I don't think a 7 or 8 out of 10 album should be winning Album of the Year, especially since SZA was right there. It's no secret that the music industry is pretty rigged, especially all of these big award events. But that doesn't make it any less disappointing when things like this happen. On a brighter note, artists that haven't released songs in a while, such as Kanye West, are supposed to drop this year. So... At least there's that to look forward to for next year's Grammys. Thank you, Owen. That was great. That's all for this week's episode of Titan News, and make sure to catch us next Friday. And remember, stay classy, San Marino.